Well, Richie, uh, we'd be glad to get back on home turf after a, a week on the road. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's always good to play at home, especially with the, the crowd and that and the atmosphere that we get at, at home. Um, but I think we think it's a big game for us, obviously. We've been away, not got the results that we wanted, um, but we've got to put things right this Saturday, so we just, uh, yeah, thought it was a nice home game. Yeah, especially at home because you've got two, the next two games are at home, so if you get six points out of six, you're right back up there, aren't you? Well, we, we, we do look to win every game, but I think these two home games now, they are vital to considering the results and the position that we're in in the league. Um, so we've got to do everything it takes these two games to get maximum points. Uh, it's look, three past results have not gone your way, is it? How important is the galvanised squad together and really get focused on the coming games? Because they are, as I said, two important home games. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously the gate said it was devastating in the 93rd minute. Unfortunate, it was uh, come off my head. Um, but we really thought that we were going to come out on Tuesday night and we were going to get the three points, which we were so close to doing again. Um, and it felt like a loss in the end because of just the way the game went. We thought we did more than enough to win the game. Um, and then another a last minute set piece, it's, uh, it's one of the basics that we look at really. So we're, we're devastated with that. And the frustrating thing is that the team's actually still playing quite good football, so it is just a fine margin that are costing the games. It is, but that's that's football for you. I mean, we've had games they probably had more possession, stroked it around a bit more than those was the other night. But we had the chances, and it was a, it was our own downfall. We we couldn't defend the set piece in the last minute. Um, so it's always the fine margins that, that settle games. Um, so we've got to look at that. The only thing we do now is go and look at it, look at ways to improve, and uh, put it right on Saturday. How difficult is it at the moment with uh, with all the injuries and, and suspensions? The, the gap has brought in a, a, quite a few new players as well, so not only are you missing players, but you've got to get used to the new ones that come in as well. Yeah, but, but again, that's football, and we look around our squad, that's why it's important to have a good squad. And you look at that team that played the other night, considering the suspensions and uh, injuries, that, that's, a, that's a great team that we've got out there. Played with a lot of them players and against them before, and they're very good players. So I don't think that's an excuse in any way. Everyone at this football club, if you put them in our first team, they shouldn't look out of water, so I think that's, that's not an excuse really. We, we had a good enough team to get the results in the past two games. And you, you're a good group of lads as well, so anyone coming into the side and the squad will, will settle in pretty quickly. Yeah, they always do on the first day. If everyone gets well, there's a little bit of band and that. Some, everyone that's come in has settled, settled nicely and they feel at home straight away, so I don't think they could say that they, they feel uncomfortable in the group. After two and a half years, I'm not going to play to come in and feel uncomfortable. So, um, yeah, that's not an excuse. Obviously, the gaffer will make tactical changes to try and cut out these late goals. What can you do as defenders to try and stop these late goals going? I think it's. I, d I don't know. I, I can't speak for other people, but I think we've got to have that more of that winning mentality and, and know how to play the games in these final stages. Um, and I think it's down to it. Obviously, you look at your leaders in the group and get people right, but there's only so much that you can do. I think it's got to be down to every individual thinking, right, for instance, my man's not going to head it, my man's not going to score, that type of mentality. Um, all the way through to 93, 94 minutes, whatever it is. Um, so I think it's more of a mentality thing, yeah. Uh, an experienced defender, as I say, which has been out for, uh, for a long time. It must be great for you to see young players like Eddie Clark come through and progress. and look like they're going to have a good career in football too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, play with a few now is Eddie, Mitch, Evan over the past few seasons. All three of them are going to have a future in football, um, and they all come into the first team as everyone's seen, and they don't look don't look any like they're out of place. Eddie did brilliant the other night, um, so I hope his uh, development continues. And when you when you're playing side, I mean, Tranmere have been in the national league for a couple of seasons now. Do you, but do you still feel that when you come up against opposition, they're looking at you and thinking, "This is Tranmere. This is a big game for us, and we we're going to have to lift ourselves." Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think a lot of teams. When you look at the teams that have come down into this league over the years, there have been big clubs in this league for as long as I can remember. It has taken them a while to, to find a bit because people do people love coming to Tramway, let's be honest. And it does raise their game slightly, but I think us as players, we're Tramway for a reason and we've got to be able to deal with that pressure and and show them that we're Tramway for a reason and it's gonna be a tough afternoon and we're gonna get the points. So I think that's gotta get the most out of the best out of us. Um, and we should be getting more better results. So it's a pressure and an expectation that you've got to try and thrive off rather than 
that it intimidate you in a way? Definitely. I mean, there's not one club in this league that everyone in the squad would rather be at. So if we want to live with that intensity and to have that pressure on us and we want to be at the club, then that's something that we've got to do. Um, so that's not an excuse. We've, we're here for a reason. We should be getting better results than we are.